Hello friends, welcome to Share Market Friend again. Uh, welcome to the new episode of Change Scanner. In this series, I try to uh, track so many various changes that appear to me as important and significant for the financial system or overall share market and all. Okay, uh, here is a list of few changes and few uh, news related things where I will share my opinion on these changes and on these news items, uh, news articles. Okay. So this is first thing that I observed was that there one IPO is coming and that is of Zelp mock design. Uh, one speciality of this IPO is that uh, their uh, option of UPI uh, payment through UPI option will be available. You must be knowing that UPI is used for inter payment transfer for through Google Pay through Paytm and all this app or mobile related mobile app related uh, ways. Uh, UPI is faster and easier or streamlined way of transferring money from one account to another. So it will help to streamline uh, transfer of or uh, movement of money for IPO. Earlier IPOs were taking 18 days then it reduced to 12 days. Now it uh, happens in 6 days but still while uh, process of IPO the money remains blocked for uh, more days or even after listing of the share so this process these things will slowly slowly start to reduce after using the uh, upi the upi uh, being used first time in history of uh, ipo in india and especially first time in 2019 actually there was notification by sebi it is there on their website you can check it out uh, it shows how to do all the upi transaction what will be the process for first three months or for first five IPOs, UPI will be optional and later it will be mandatory for retail investor that is below 2 lakh investment. Okay, So, so many changes are there for so related to UPI, you can check it out on that uh, notification. Uh, second, there's, there's, there was so much update uh, in stock. When I when I'm making this video, Nifty has settled around uh, in downward side to 10,760 around. Okay, then it closed at 10,780 around. So it was around 10,800. It breached that level of 10,900, 10,850 also. It was all because of two uh, basic uh, main stocks. Those were Z that fell around 20 to 30 percent, and Maruti fell around 8 to 10 percent. So there were news about Z that uh, their uh, that company was involved in uh, fund transfer or something that news was not confirmed yet but uh, rumor rumored kind of news by wire it will get confirmed and details will come out hopefully by Monday itself okay so I am not relying on that news that much because so many details are not there it was all about uh, money transfer or related issues during the demonetization and Z's involvement or uh, relation to that later margins were compromised in working of Maruti so that was cause of Maruti because earlier it were expected and last time it was it, it, they were 12 percent and now they came to 8 to 10 percent around so that was significant drop in margin though their volume improved then there were CBI rates on ICICI and uh, new power related issues so that was a news, negative news flow for ICIC. I don't know why they are doing it after so much time. Uh, maybe they must be checking or trying to retrieve the records related to ICIC loan to new power. Uh, the involvement of Chanda Kochar and her husband. Okay, his husband. Sorry. Uh, then her husband actually. <laughs> I mistook. Then there were there was news of Yes Bank and Indigo. Their heads were changing, so that that went positive. Actually, there was so much short related to Yes Bank uh, uh, manipulation of uh, all this data related to Yes Bank stock. So that was so much rumored, rumored uh, that stock had become. So after clearance of the issue, Yes Bank rebounded with 20 to 30 percent around. Uh, also, Indigo got new heads as a consultant uh, kind of thing. Then CESC stock split, though it moved uh, downward even after uh, value uh, value finding through split of this stock into CESC and Spencer's retail etc. And then Mine Trees founder and owner around 21% who owns the stock that is Siddharth, Mr. Siddharth. He is trying to exit the mine tree so that was a big development for mine tree and they are searching for a better partner 
for avoiding any hostile relations with competitors etc and then biocon profit jumped significantly around one to two times compared to last times that was in biologics move positive move for biocon then there was there was a lot of issue about linde india earlier also i have made one video on linde uh, their delisting process that is being carried out by their boc or roc that is head company that that is a foreign company to india so they are trying to delist india but in that process first time cb is using the process of reverse book building in which the bidders or shareholder decide or a bid for uh, delisting price so that came out to be around uh, 2000 to 2200 that is really big or uh, three to four times of that current price of uh, 700 so they are thinking of cancelling the process though it was not sure and official notification wasn't uh, received by me also or verified by me so i can't uh, definitely comment on that but they were trying to cancel it there was a rumor about it so that will be a big development for linde let's see how it ends and what uh, they are trying to cancel the listing and they are going by open offer even though they are going by open offer there are so many uh, like reliance mutual fund is owner of its significant stock of around 8 to 9% so that will be difficult for them to do it without um, agreeing with the retail investor and mutual fund okay then there was another development related to nano car that was a dream car and uh, innovative product by ratan tata so they are going to cease to operate it by 2020 so it won't be available or sold after 2020 so that's a bad news for innovative product like nano car in tata also then whatsapp gave a data or declared that they have uh, they have around 50 lakhs users worldwide for their whatsapp business uh, tool or app you can say so that is really good development for e-commerce or uh, whatsapp like e internet related companies then there was a robot co- robot drone competition uh, where robot were supposed to do difficult tasks that other uh, drones not have done ever so that was really uh, prestigious mohammed bin i am not sure about the name so it was a great comp- it is a great competition where tcs and isc has uh, selected in top 21 and they are still competing with others for the top post okay so prize is also huge around 1 lakh dollar something so that is really positive and great thing for india also then there were worries of us shutdown still continue actually the shutdown is related to the wall, uh, wall that mr trump wants to build around uh, that mexico border where so many people enter illegally into the america uh, so to restrict them he want to build that wall and he wants funding from their uh, senate for that where on that issue there are so many clashes that is causing us shutdown because of that so many uh, us employees are not get are for law they are not getting salary and it is really suffering their uh, international value also though it appearing very small but it may turn into a big significant uh, bad for overall economy also because us is a big significant uh, component of it then there are worries of that do worry but good news for some also who hold gold in their portfolio gold is running at nearly high of 32500 around so it is a bad news also because uh, when gold prices rises it shows that so many people are buying gold they are rushing away from the equity and other kind of investment that is that is uh, sometimes considered as one of sign of recession also because it is a sign of fear that gold prices are increasing then uh, the dollar is at bad high level then palm oil is also uh, raising higher it palm oil uh, i mentioned because so many companies like food industry and other soap making companies like hindustan liver limited they depend on palm oil for their raw material or extract kind of thing so rising palm oil can significantly impact their uh, prices or their margin you can say so that is what i am observing yet then there were so many business events or uh, exhibitions were going on where so many foreign and interstate businessmen committing lot of money to investment for uh, states like gujarat tamil nadu then telangana then odisha also coming up with business events then 
there was one observation that india's export to china is rising so that uh, china's china and america trade war is helping somewhat to india uh, there is a rise in export to china by india whatever we export to them into that but uh, there is other country like vietnam is there who is benefiting a lot because of their cheap labor and other business policies uh, in export to china they are using that opportunity of china us war as to their great extent okay then there was a news that uh, sebi find uh, two to three invest investment firms like gandhi investment etc so that was for manipulation of stock price i uh, put uh, this news or important update in front of you because it shows that lot of manipulation in stock prices goes on this is kind of a proof for us that people who think that stocks are any healthily or without any bias so though it is a small there may be cases as i think that uh, may not have come out but there are significant then there is a msci that is international rating and investing agency that is changing their criteria for fpis uh, total investment holding and calculation etc i am not uh, precise on that calculation mention but uh, that change can affect the overall investment running towards india by 0.2 to 0.3 percentage though it appears small but it could impact a lot on uh, long term and uh, overall basis because it, they do lot of investments like into billions so that is a negative point for india right now hope it turns out uh, into a positive in future okay so these were all points and news items i observed i expressed my opinion on to them so please don't consider them as news they, those are like my opinion or my understanding out of this developments into the financial or share market related thing okay so this is not exactly an advice to you for buying and selling any stock you can refer my disclaimer below the video okay if you like this video you can like and share with your friends also this is my uh, new series on my channel share market friend so i hope i uh, it i think that it won't be that perfect but i'm trying to improve it day by day so i hope uh, you'll be sending me some corrections and improvement for this thank you for watching this episode thank you for listening share market friend